Hello? <laughs> the one good thing about having Parkinson's disease is you don't need an electric toothbrush. Also quite handy when you're having a wank. Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the channel. This is Outsider, and I'm Tank. Um, what I'm going to show you today, I'm going to show you how to make some waterproof Tinder. Hundreds of videos on it, guys. It's not something new, okay? Um, I'm going to show you how I make it. Obviously, it can be made out in the field, or it could be made at home, on the stove. But I'm going to show you how to do it outdoors. Let's get started. So here's what you're going to need for this exercise guys. I say you can do it at home, but I'm doing it out in the field. So you're going to need some sort of gas stove. You're going to need two cooking vessels. I've got a ceramic mug, old sweet tin. You're going to need some foil, or you can use baking paper. You're going to need a glove. You're going to need a bushcraft set of tongs. You need some form of candles. Doesn't matter what ones they are. I just chosen to bring three tea lights. You're going to need some cotton pads. An empty tin to store them in when you've made them. And you're going to need some petroleum jelly. I'm not going to use all that, obviously. A simple exercise guys it's a fabulous product at the end of it let's get started so I'm starting off I'm just laying everything out ready I've got my foil set out there I've just got that part of my cyclone I've got my vessel the first thing I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna melt some Vaseline okay so that's the combustion part of it the wax is the waterproofing part okay so we start off with a petroleum jelly. So I'm just gonna scoop some Vaseline out now. I should do it. And that's going in the pot, right? That should be plenty. So the Vaseline's melting, okay. So that's all I'm gonna do. Take my bushcraft prongs. Give it a dip, put it on the foil. Take the next one, give it a dip. Put it on the foil and repeat, okay? I won't bore you with it, I'll just carry on and come back to you now. So there's my pads there, okay? Now to this point, you really want to give them time to cool down before you do the next stage, okay? So with the candles I've brought, tea lights, is your wick there, right? So you don't need that. So just remove it. Let's break it up into small pieces. So that's all you're doing. Grab the wick. Remove the wax. And take that out, okay? And just break them up into smaller pieces. Like so. So what I'm gonna do now is just melt the wax, okay? So you wanna get that down as low as you can get it. And just wax. It's melted now, okay? So that's the waterproof in. The Vaseline is the accelerant. Waterproof in, accelerant. Next stage. Here we go. Taking out tongs, 
to make one of our discs. Give it a good dip in the wax. Back onto the foil. Repeat. And so. Repeat. It's easy guys on us. They fabulous on us. Magic biscuits. Not the type some of you to take. <laughs> right, uh, let's pick one up here. We've got dose. Onto the foil. And that's all you do now guys. Watch them turn the gas off. You wait for them to solidify. So what I'm gonna do when I'm waiting for them to solidify to show you how they work. I'm gonna show you another little trick. I'm gonna make a brew which you all know how to do. And I've brought a ration pack cake with me. Now people always say how dry they are. Well they don't have to be, see guys. They don't have to be, I'll show you something now. So we got the water boiling guys. So these are the cakes I'm talking about. We have everyone to say, oh my god, they're so dry. Now watch this now, right? Brilliant. There it is, look. Looks really moist, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it's not, let me tell you. It ain't moist at all. So here it is, guys. The biggest secret in the British Army. You dip it in your brew. That's better. The longer you hold it in there, the moister it is. Moister. Moisture. No. The more moisture it hold. How's that, Steve? Steve the transit camper? You having that, bro? You heard it here first, guys. Don't forget it. Just don't go binning them. Nip them in your brew. Job to put them. Right, so this tin I got now, right? It's just one from the bathroom. It's beard balm, it is, right? Any tin will do. So see, they go quite solid. Nice and solidified now. Big word for me. So you store them in a the tin like so, okay? Well, if you want to use a whole one, you can. I'll cut them in half. But they're in there now, okay? So you go in my belt kit, and they're good to go. Let's get one going, is it? Eh? Break one open to expose the fibers, okay? That's saturated in the Vaseline, like so. Break them open like so. Expose those fibers. I should do it, okay? I'm taking your ferro rod. There you go. So that's waterproof now. And that will burn for absolutely ages. You know, that'll give you time to get your fire going. It's a long burn. Let's wet it and see if we can get it going, is it? So there you go, guys. Now you know how to make magic biscuits. And how to make those British Army ration pack cakes a bit more appealing. Another tip for you guys, insulation tape. Some of you might already know, but uh, if you put your lips on there when it's hot, when it's red hot, after you just poured your brew into it, your lips will stick to it. So put some insulation tape on there, look. if you want to keep your lips out of see 
Right, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little video. Some comments down below. Thumbs up. And if you like this video and this kind of stuff, and you haven't already, give us a subscribe. We most appreciate it. Cheers, guys. See you on the next one. Over and out. Subscribe and like this video, and nobody gets hurt.